Hello everyone, welcome to the Smart Life. Today I have the Redmi AX6 Wi-Fi 6 router from Xiaomi. And this is a very new router recently released and it offers 3000 Mbps maximum speed and supports 160 MHz bandwidth. In today's video, I'm going to unbox this router and I'll show you how to set up this router. I'll do a complete speed test and review of this router. And I'll also do a full speed and range comparison with the AX3600 router that I have here. This is the AX3600 router. Both the routers have the same CPU but there are some other differences. I'll also show you how to configure the Wi-Fi mesh network between the AX3600 router and the Redmi AX6 router. So coming to the specifications of the AX6 router, it supports almost 3000 Mbps maximum speed. It has the OFDMA and MoMIMO technologies for multiple transfer of packets at the same time. It can connect to 248 devices simultaneously and it has a 512 MB DDR3 RAM. It has a 6 core processor. Out of the 6 cores, it has a quad core CPU and a dual core NPU. The dual core NPU is for the network processing unit. It has 4 gigabit Ethernet ports out of which one is a WAN port and the remaining 3 are the LAN ports. It has a total of uh, 6 external antennas. And this router works with the Mi Home app as well as the Xiaomi Mi Wi-Fi app. So the specs wise, the comparison between the AX3600, the CPU is the same, the RAM is also the same, but the ROM is 256 for the AX3600 and the Redmi AX5 is only 128 MB. The Wi-Fi signal amplifiers are also different. The Wi-Fi signal amplifiers of the AX6 are lower powered compared to the AX3600. That means that the range will be different. Both the routers support 160 MHz bandwidth. And this router was manufactured last month, that is in August 2020. Now let's unbox it and see what is there inside so this is the power adapter it has a 12 volt 1.5 amp power adapter as you can see the ax3600 comes with a 2 amp 12 volt power adapter and this is the router it is very nicely packed so it is a very brief user's manual but in chinese anyways you don't need this because i'll show you how to set it up The form factor of this router is almost same with the Xiaomi AC2350 router. That router has 7 antennas and this one has 6 antennas as you can see. So this is the router and as you can see it has mounting holes so it is wall mountable. And the default Wi-Fi names are Redmi 0A64 for 2.4 GHz and the 5 GHz is Redmi 0A64 5G. This is the 4.5 mm DC connector and the cable length is 1 meter. So it has the four Ethernet ports here. These are gigabit ports. And it has the DC input jack here and the reset button. And it has two indicators. One is the internet indicator and one is the system indicator. And it has a lot of ventilation for efficient cooling. Now let's power it on and set it up. Let's connect the Ethernet cable to the WAN port. And I'll connect the power. So once you power on, the system indicator turns yellow and the internet indicator is off. Now the system indicator has turned blue and the internet indicator is yellow because it has not been set up. So before setting up, you have to wait for the system indicator to turn blue. So in my previous tutorials, I have already shown you how to set up the Xiaomi router or the Redmi routers using the Mi Wi-Fi app as well as the web interface. The steps will be the same. So previously, I have not shown you how to set up the Xiaomi routers using the mobile web interface. I understand that many of you don't want to install a mobile app for setting up the router. So I'll show you how to set up the router using the mobile web interface so for that first you have to connect to this router so go to your wi-fi and you have to connect to the redmi 0a64 here is the redmi 0a64 connect to the 5 gigahertz wi-fi and you better turn off the mobile data it will tell you that the internet is not available but you have to keep the wi-fi connection so once that is done you have to go to your browser and type miwifi.com now it is showing you the mobile web interface and you can agree the first agreement the second one is for uh, data collection and so on so you don't need that and go next and it's asking for the wi-fi name and the wi-fi password you can put a wi-fi name here and you can put your password here so i'll put a password here the first option is asking you if you want to set a different password for your administrator account for the router so if you uncheck it you have to enter a separate password for your administrator i'll keep the same and the second one is asking you if you want to enable the automatic update you can enable it and the third one is asking you if you want to enable the 160 megahertz bandwidth i'll enable it and you can go next here by clicking the blue button now your setup is done and it is showing you the password of the 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi and as well as the 5 gigahertz wi-fi and the router ip address is given here and the administrator password is also given here and now your internet indicator will turn blue 
because it is now working and the system indicator is also blue so this was the basic setup in the future you may uh, want to pair this router with the mi wi-fi app if you install the mi wi-fi app so i'll show you how to pair this router after you set it up using the web interface so go to your mi wi-fi app here actually it has already found the wi-fi and if it doesn't find then you can click the add button and add a new router and it will ask you to add now and you can enter the administrator password here so if you enter the administrator password like this you can pair the router to your mi wi-fi app even if you have set it up using the mobile web interface now you can see that the router is online and you can go to devices and you can see what other devices have been connected to this router so let's perform a quick speed test with the redmi ax6 and i'm connected to the redmi ax6 right now go the ping is 7 milliseconds the download speed is 473 mbps and the upload speed is 213 mbps the internet connection at my place is a maximum speed of 1 gbps connection um, but that is the maximum speed usually i get around 500 to 600 mbps speed but for the speed test comparison between the ax6 router and the 3600 i'll be using the program called iperf the iperf program is more reliable in testing the speed because there are no external parameters like the number of users connected to the isp and the isp speed varies based on the peak time and so on so i'll be using iperf program for the speed comparison between these two routers at different locations of my place so if you go to plugin and if you go to the router settings and about router here you can see the firmware version this firmware version is 1.0.16 and it is outdated the current version is 1.0.18 i'll show you how to update the firmware you need a computer for updating the firmware manually so i'll show you how to do that so connect your computer to your redmi router my computer has been connected to the 5 GHz network. You can download the firmware from the Xiaomi router website. I'll give the link in the video description. So download it. So once it has been downloaded, you can go to miwifi.com and you can enter the password. So this is your Redmi AX6 router interface. Go to the second tab and go to the last menu and you can also translate. Go to common settings and system status and you can click on manual upgrade and you can select the file that you have downloaded. That is the bin file. So once that has been selected, you can start upgrade. So while upgrading, the system indicator lights will change. Currently the system indicator light is flashing. Now it has changed to yellow. So we have to wait for it to turn blue. Once it turns blue, you can connect back to the router and then you'll be able to connect to the internet. So it is telling do not disconnect the power during the upgrade process. And the upgrade process may take 5 to 8 minutes. So now my system indicator light and the internet indicator light has turned blue. So you can connect to back to the router. Now I have connected back to the Redmi router. We can go to miwifi.com and you can enter your password and you can check whether it has been upgraded successfully. So currently the version is 1.0.18. So it has been successfully upgraded. Now the firmware upgrade is complete. Now I'll perform a speed test and the range test of this router and compare it to the AX3600. So in the speed test, I'll be using the iPerf program and iPerf is a local network speed test program. So I'll connect my computer through the LAN and the computer will start a server, iPerf server, and I'll set up the iPerf client in my mobile phone and connect it using Wi-Fi 6. First, I'll test the Redmi router and then I'll connect to the AX3600 router and I'll test both the speeds using the iPerf program. And I'll show you the test results at different locations of my house to compare between these two routers this is the layout of the test location all the tests were conducted using the 5 gigahertz wi-fi 6 network these are the iperf test results of the redmi ax6 and the xiaomi ax3600 routers at different locations of my place so that was the speed test and the range comparison between the Redmi AX6 router and the Xiaomi AX3600 router. As you have seen, both the routers perform very comparable to each other, but the AX3600 is obviously a little bit better because it has more powerful Wi-Fi signal amplifiers inbuilt into the router compared to the Redmi AX6. Now I'll show you how to uh, configure a mesh network between these two routers. In this setup, I'll use the Redmi AX6 as my host Wi-Fi and the AX3600 will be the child router for the mesh network in order to set up the wi-fi mesh network you need to have the mobile app or you have to access using the web interface through your computer before setting up the wi-fi mesh network you need to reset this router that is a child router so you have to reset the child router first so in my case this is the ax3600 so i'll press the reset button until it resets so now it's resetting so you have to wait for it to turn blue before you connect to the wi-fi mesh network so now it has turned blue so we can connect to the redmi ax6 router go to plugins you can go to add mesh node and you can start it is searching for the child router 
and now you can see that it has found the AX3600 router you can select that one select the room and then you can go next so it is connecting to the node and wait for it to complete the setup it may take some time now as you can see the internet indicator has turned on so the Wi-Fi mesh network was completed and you can finish so now the Wi-Fi mesh network has been completed. So that was the review of the Redmi AX6 router. The heating performance of the router is very good because of the lot of ventilation available. It has the mesh network function as well as the 160 MHz bandwidth. In the future, I'll test the mesh network of the Xiaomi routers in which I will test the Wi-Fi roaming capability as well as the range extension of the Wi-Fi mesh network and the speed test of the Wi-Fi mesh. I hope you liked the review, please like and share the video and please consider supporting my Patreon campaign and uh, thank you for watching, please consider subscribing, I will see you next time.